Okay, Power Rangers, let's do it! It's morphin' time! Goedenavond. Ja, het gebeurt wel vaker dat na het beëindigen van een relatie de ene partner de andere het leven zuur maakt. Hij of zij blijft de ex-partner achtervolgen en soms zelfs bedreigen. Meestal zijn het de mannen die hun ex-vrouw lastig vallen. De Amerikanen hebben voor dit soort gedrag een naam, stalking. In de Verenigde Staten is dat verboden, bij ons nog niet. Een Amerikaanse rechter kan een stalker het verbod opleggen nog in de buurt te komen van de persoon die zich bedreigd voelt. We maken vanavond kennis met slachtoffers van stalkers en bekijken hoe de politie en het gerecht in Amerika het probleem aanpakken. We belichten eerst een speciaal facet van het stalking, ziekelijke fans die bekende sterren benaderen en bedreigen. Stalkers dus die zich inbeelden dat ze de partner zijn van een of andere vedette. Filmsterren, zangers en mensen uit de show- en televisiewereld vormen een geliefkoosd doelwit voor stalkers. It isn't just the Madonnas and high end, you know, have worldwide fame, but it's it's anybody in the public eye uh, that comes into our home through the electronic media and through videotape that they find themselves subject to this kind of behavior. Got perfect. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is op dit moment een van de meest succesvolle jeugdseries op televisie. Sophia Crawford is de vrouw achter het masker van de roze Power Ranger. Crawford is een Engelse actrice, maar sinds ze zich in Hollywood heeft gevestigd, wordt ze voortdurend lastig gevallen door een al te opdringerige bewonderaar. When I first came here to the States, I went to the American film market and I saw him standing in a group of people. Um, he turned around to me and said, oh, Miss Crawford, welcome to the United States. So you grace us with your presence, you know, and came out with this whole strew of information about me, you know, that I was really quite shocked that he knew about me at all. So that was the first time that I saw him. En vanaf dat moment laat hij haar niet meer met rust. He was just so um, persistent. No didn't work. Trying to be friendly and say to no politely still didn't work. When I got angry, that only encouraged him. It kind of, I think it excited him in some ways. Um, ignorance, I tried to ignore him for several months. But he just doesn't give up. Hi, Sophia. The detective down here, how you doing? Jeff Dunn houdt zich bezig met Sofia's zaak. Well, approximately a year ago, this individual started calling and harassing and coming by and and leaving packages and things for her at her residence and he, he sought her out at work and just made her life a living hell essentially. Hi, Sofia. Oh, hi. How you doing? Yeah. Here we go again, huh? Yep. Yeah. Stupid guy has left his his name on there <laughs> with my picture we only catch the dumb ones huh you know i mean yeah deze videocassette is het laatste van vele ongewenste cadeaus die sofia van haar opdringerige bewonderaar heeft ontvangen holy mackerel i know uh, this is only stuff like in the last six months because in the beginning i would just throw it away sex toys I mean, he always thinks, he, you know, he would always make a joke of that, saying that he's the only person that could ever satisfy me, and he's the only person that could ever make me a star, and I'll never get anywhere in this business without him. Ah, oh, it's just, you know. So this is typical of, of what he had sent you before, and it's, uh, we said it before, we'll say it again, he would have gone bonkers over you. We miss the bum, and we almost miss you, but we are never far, love, whatever. Sofia's geobsedeerde fan spiegelt zich aan een held uit een stripverhaal. The Punisher, again, everything relates to the Punisher and I believe he sees himself as the male Punisher. As you can see, this is the female Punisher and this is the character that he sees me as or fantasizes me as. And he just has this um, fantasy of us coming together and uniting and um, destroying all the bad people in the world and this kind of thing, but falling deeply in love at the same time. 
De man met deze ziekelijke fantasie is Scott Daisy. Hij woont alleen in een hotelkamer in Hollywood. Sophia voelt zich bedreigd. Ze heeft geen moment rust meer, omdat Scott haar voortdurend lastig valt. He would try any method he could, whether it was the phone calls or the gifts I received, or um, I mean, the phone calls were so, just 30 a day. It was very soul destroying, especially with the kind of things that he would say to me. What do you do in this kind of situation, though? I would break down. I would cry all night. There were times when I would just pick up the phone and just swear constantly down the phone at him. Well, it makes it pretty clear what your uh, know, your intentions uh, are. No uh, margin for interpretation there. Yeah. He called you back several times after that, didn't he? Many times, yeah. It's none of his business. This is my job. This is my career. You know, I didn't do it to to entice him in any way. I'm just doing my job. I don't I don't go around the streets, you know, thinking I'm so superior to anybody else just because I'm playing this character. He really does. He believes he's the Punisher. Yeah. Um. It's a good example, example right. as far as the handwriting that we can use to compare that yeah. transfer order. Yeah. That was the shipping order? Yeah. Now let's see if we can't do a handwriting comparison on that stuff. Okay. okay? She said she had something today, so I hope we can. I got that pink Power Ranger uh, letter thing that she can take a look at real quick for Perfect. me, give me an opinion. It may oh, not make yeah. it a filable case, but... Plus, plus I gotta stop on the photo lab, I gotta pick up some... The stalkers afdeling maakt regelmatig gebruik van gerechtelijk bewijsmateriaal. I'm not looking for a, uh, a court-qualified opinion because, like I say, um, it's not a fileable case at this point anyway. Right. I just want to know if I'm barking up the right tree here. Probably, because you've got the G's. You can see where the bottom of the G kicks up, and then you've got the two-stroke B, right. which you have there, and a one-stroke Y, which kicks to the left just a little bit, which this one does. Um, you may have the right guy. Well, I'm, I'm sure I've got the right guy. I'm just looking for a little bit more ammunition yeah. for my back pocket when I walk into the city attorney's office and say, hey, this is what I got. Is it a violation of the restraining order or isn't it? Right. Het handschrift komt overeen. Op basis daarvan wordt Scott Daisy veroordeeld. Hij mag geen contact meer zoeken met Sophia. De politie blijft de zaak volgen. Bij de minste overtreding zal Daisy de gevangenis ingaan.